Hello. Both of them are here today. All right, Let's see where I'm at. Fun stuff to talk about today. All right, looks like I'm live. Yoo-hoo. Hey everybody. Hi, Crystal. Crystal. Hey everybody. Hi, Crystal. I'm gonna send you a prize. You're the very first person to pop on and say hello. I just screenshot it. And I will private message you. And it looks like you have been a member of this group for three years. Yay! Okay, Crystal, um, you get to pick from, hmm, let me think about it. Let me think about what goodies I have that you can't get anywhere else. So I'll private message you. But we are going to do some fun. Oh, I want to sit back. We're going to do some fun stuff today. So I'm going to um, talk about some topics, some products, some tips, and some advice. So let me get back to my comments so I can see what everybody's saying. And say hi to some of you. Hi, Elena. Hey, Dolores. Hi, Heather. Tony. Yay. You got your gift. Yay. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Dina. Hi, Leah. Hi, Melita. Yay. I miss you guys. All right. For my Eureka peeps, Jackson and I are coming home. We haven't picked our flights and our dates yet, but my baby turns 19, June 15th. And so we're thinking somewhere um, between the time school gets out. So like mid-May to June 15th, sometime in there. And hopefully we can coordinate a workshop back in Eureka. I miss my Illinois peeps so bad, I can't take it anymore. Okay, let's do some housekeeping and tips okay so you know me i'm um down and dirty and telling you how things really are so every now and then right if there's a product that i that doesn't work for me i tell you about it and i tell you why and i remind you that everything um, works for everyone differently or if there's a product that i don't follow the directions. I tell you how I use it, right? So couple housekeeping and maintenance, tip, maintenance tips for you because I don't want you to suffer the consequences. All right, so this is the coolest thing ever. This is doTERRA's version of a wall plug. We got them at leadership in person only as far as I'm aware. So for those of you that got these, I really, 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 really hope they come out with these because they are incredible, okay? For those of you that got these, little maintenance tip. Remember, these oils aren't water. They're not alcohol. They don't hit the air and immediately evaporate, okay? And oils have different viscosity. I think I'm using the right word. And if I'm not, you'll understand what I'm saying. Um, different thickness, different weight, and they have different color, okay? So like Citrus Bliss is orange, I think. Wild Orange is orange, probably, right? Blue Tansy is blue. Frankincense is more clear, okay? My Citrus Bliss in my diffuser on my kitchen counter, safe place to use it. Below it, over time, there's orange oil on the counter and I wipe it up, no big deal. I had Midnight Forest in another one in a hallway over tile. And when the light shined on it, I was like, there's oil on the, on the floor below it because I'd had it plugged in for like a month, okay? I needed to wipe it up. Why am I telling you this? If you have this over carpet, if you have it over a rug, if you have it over something, remember the oil's going to land. Same thing with your bubble diffuser. These are waterless diffusers with full, like large amounts of oil coming out, which I love, which is why they're my favorites, okay? But 
a water-based diffuser has a very small amount of oil, what lands on your furniture or lands on whatever is evaporated um, water, meaning the particles left behind like lime or sediment or right back in Illinois, we would use that huge Dawn diffuser and it would crank out the moisture all winter long. And then what was left was a white powdery film on my furniture that you just wiped up. That was minerals in the water. These are completely different. Don't ruin your furniture. If you're gonna put this on furniture, just know that it better not be a painted surface that's gonna absorb it or wood surface that's going to get damaged by oil. Okay, so just housekeeping maintenance tips and education about the products that we have, okay? Love them, use them. My favorite place for them is over tile. I just wipe it up and um, pay attention to your grout on my kitchen counter because I can just wipe it up and I'm gonna give you my new favorite diffuser blend. This is my favorite roller. It's gonna be my favorite next body spray and it's my favorite diffuser blend. And I got my assistant using it and now her whole family loves it. It smells like juicy fruit, it's incredible. All right, so I'm gonna tell you about that next, but remember that these can leave behind some stuff, okay? So I wanna hear your comments. Everyone loves my hair today. Yay, I got hippie hair going. So I will give a shout out um, to my friend Jennifer who sent me some free samples of um, some hair products that she uses for curly hair. Um, my hair has responded to it really well. You know, I'm diehard doTERRA folks. All right, you know, I'm diehard doTERRA. So, and I have a million bottles of the two liter shampoo and conditioner because doTERRA shampoo and conditioner is the only shampoo and conditioners that have never caused sores in my head. I get these sores in my scalp and on my neck from others. So I need to play this out and see how it goes. Need to see if I can use these products with my doTERRA shampoo and conditioner, but I will keep you posted. So I'm transitioning to curly hair, thanks to menopause. And it's a weird transition because I don't know how to use product I've never used products. I only used a tear shampoo conditioner and once in a while, the root to tip serum, right? Now I have to use like curl cream and hold glaze. Too bad doTERRA doesn't have theirs anymore. That would have been handy, right? So this is inner sense for my friend Jennifer, but I will keep you posted. I prefer to use doTERRA whenever possible, but if the doTERRA is not going to work for this new curly hair, then I still need a solution. So I'll keep you posted, okay? All right. Um, Carol says she loves her bubble diffuser. She uses it in the guest bath with spearmint. Okay, so excellent. So bathroom and kitchen and over um, ceramic tile where I can wipe up oil are my two favorite places or three favorite places for my diffusers, my waterless diffusers. Okay. Um, luckily, I had this one in my office on a coaster and it did not damage my white painted um, dresser because the oil that fell, fell onto the coaster and the coaster absorbed it. So I got very lucky there. So I have not ruined anything with my waterless diffusers. Um, I just wanna make sure that you don't either, okay? So bathroom counters, if there's oil residue. What I wanna do next, so I wanna find my Smarties in this group. I want to find my smarty pants because I want to focus on clear oils without having to open every single oil bottle. And I want to focus on oils that evaporate easier, that aren't as heavy. Have a, what would that be? Higher viscosity? I don't know. I, no, I think it's the opposite. Anyway, ignore me on the technology today and the science because that's not my jam. All right. So that way I can put a clear oil that evaporates more quickly in my waterless diffusers, like my mist and my bubble. And then this recipe is going in every other diffuser in the rest of the house. I already have a roller of it. I did a reel about my roller and now I'm gonna make body spray because I'm addicted. Okay, this is gonna be your favorite recipe from here on out, wild orange, cheer and Douglas fir 
It's literally the greatest smell ever. I've used my roller and love my roller, but when my whole house smells like it, oh my. It's just the perfect combination. So equal parts, okay? So why do I have a 15 milliliter bottle of it? I am I wanted to use it in my mist and in my bubble. So I have a five milliliter one. So I took um, a cheer bottle that had one third cheer left in it. I popped the top off and I added one third wild orange and one third Douglas fir. And then I wanted this one to refill my water diffusers. So again, I took a wild orange bottle that was one third full of wild orange. I put a third Douglas fir and a third cheer. So what's one third of 15 milliliter? Douglas fir comes in five and cheer comes in five, right? So my wild orange, when it got down to one third, I added a whole bottle of Douglas fir and a whole bottle of cheer. And I put half a dozen, I shake it and I put half a dozen drops of this in my pilot mats. That's my favorite on the counter diffuser right now is my pilot mats. I don't think it's available all the time. So sorry about that. So I'm so glad y'all love my hair today. So again, I got a little hippie thing going. Get a little clip in the back. I'm learning how to do this curly hair. So love the curly hair tips. Keep them coming because I'm learning. All right. So we talked about waterless diffusers and how to make sure that you don't damage your furniture, your floors, your carpet, your rugs. Let's talk about Spanish sage. So I have some health concerns going on that I am supporting my body with doTERRA, and then I'm also seeing a natural practitioner. I've talked about this the last couple of videos. So I have parasites. Everybody has parasites. You get them from food. You get them from travel. You get them from a number of things, right? I encourage you to see a natural practitioner to support you through your detoxification process, okay? So what are some things happening from passing these parasites? Just to give you an idea, of how serious, how real, like it's not just something that people make up. In mainstream medicine, they, they blow this topic off a lot, okay? Um, I passed a parasite that was 18 inches long, okay? So it's the real deal, okay? So my body's filled with them for some reason. I've been to Belize. Um, I ate in Miami and got food poisoning, so I could have picked it up there. Like there's so many different places that we can get them from. Okay, you can get them through your skin um, from walking barefoot in contaminated ground that has animal feces or other feces. There's all different places you can pick up parasites, okay? So what are some side effects that I'm dealing with? As my body's detoxifying, I'm having some muscle and joint pain because the parasites release toxins when they die, okay? I'm taking a binder. doTERRA doesn't have a binder, so I'm taking a binder. Okay, you can use oils for the killing of the parasites. You can use um, supplements. I'm using a combination of both with the care of my practitioner. Okay, um, so I've had some muscle and joint pain and my hair is falling out by the handfuls. <laughs> Just as my hair got to the best it's ever been, we're back to square one, like handfuls. My Floors are covered in hair. I am covered in hair, wads of hair every shower. So what am I doing to counteract that? Because it still has to happen. It's also probably shedding season. You shed hair twice a year. Hey, Christy, you shed hair twice a year. Okay, so it's probably a combination of both because it's about time for shedding, but also the detoxing is extremely strong right? I'm using the Zimmer hair growth spray. Mm, I try for every day, probably happens every other day, every third day on my scalp to help slow the loss and stimulate new growth. Okay. So that's one thing. Spanish sage came into effect last night. My son came over to watch TV, have dinner. He's been doing that every night. It's been amazing. And I was being lazy and I needed oils all over my back and neck for um, extreme discomfort. I was so uncomfortable um, that I was really struggling. Um, Valerie asked, what is good for circulating blood flow? 
two tendons. I don't know what that means. Oh, T E N D A. I think you mean tendons. I bet you're doing voice to text. Um, helichrysum is amazing for tendons, blood flow, circulation. Um, I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, oh, I opened my book right to it. So I'm going to answer Valley's question quick. Poor circulation, aroma touch, cypress, guayac wood, cassia, geranium, Spanish sage. That's what we're talking about. Uh, black pepper, super mint, and peppermint. So poor circulation. Okay. Um, and then also helicrosum. Okay. So back to Spanish sage. I was feeling lazy. I was like, I don't have the patience for you to do symphony of cells on me right now, which is 10 oils all over my back for a healthy inflammatory response and calming my nervous system and some nerve discomfort. Whenever I detox, it brings back some old symptoms for me. So I was floxed. I took fluoroquinol and antibiotic in 2011, five pills, and it caused severe nerve damage, muscle damage, joint pain, muscle pain, torn tendons all over my body, um, ended up in a wheelchair. Okay. Well, some of those chronic pains that I had resurface when I'm severely detoxing. So I needed to be made more comfortable so we could watch TV and I wasn't um, willing to take a toxic option. Um, I don't use Tylenol. I don't use ibuprofen. I don't use prescription medications. I just had him take the Spanish sage straight in his hands because it's not a hot oil. So it won't hurt my skin or his. It is always better to use a carrier oil like coconut oil because it helps you spread the oil over a larger surface area. The oily coconut oil also helps hold the essential oil that evaporates quickly onto the skin. I did not want coconut oil all over my back. I didn't want to have to go get a new shirt. That's okay to get coconut oil on, blah, blah, blah. Lazy man's solution last night. Straight up Spanish sage all over my back, all over my neck. Within 10 minutes, I was comfortable and no longer grimacing from discomfort. Okay. Spanish sage is the bomb. And ironically, it's also one of the answers to Valerie's questions about circulation. A poor circulation of blood and lymph through the body consisting of the heart, blood vessels, blood, lymph, and lymphatic vessels and glands, right? So for poor circulation, aroma touch, cypress, black wood, cassia, geranium, Spanish sage, black pepper, super mint, and peppermint. Thanks everybody for all the compliments on my hair. All right, um, I wanna hop over to Spanish sage. I probably read from this last week, but last week I was rushed and had to get off to help my son with something. So I wanna review it again because I'm in love with Spanish sage. Top uses, brain health, cognitive and mental performance, okay? I've been struggling through detox with some memory issues. I'm forgetting names. I'm forgetting what people have told me. I'm forgetting what some of my responsibilities are on a regular basis with my doTERRA business, all right? So I need to be using oils to help with brain function like Spanish sage, frankincense, DDR prime. I wanna hear what oils you use for brain function. Um, I love Susan's tip. Please look at Susan's comment in um, the comments here in Yay Oils Public Education. If you're watching the replay on YouTube or any other platform um, where we don't have the comments that people are contributing, please join Facebook. Even if you just make a fake account, John Doe Oils, and use it just to come into Yay Oils Public Education um, Facebook group to see the comments. The gold is in the comments, right? I am not. Um, the best part of these videos. It's the contributions from those of you watching. Copaiba is excellent for brain health. Yep. So I take two Copaiba soft gels every day at bedtime. I roll Digestin, Arborvita, and DDR Prime. The key is DDR Prime on the bottoms of my feet every morning and every night. And I'm back on the wagon with that. Top uses for Spanish sage, brain health, mental performance, word or memory recall which is why I dug this back out again today. Alertness helps with lack of focus and concentration, which I have often, 
Let's use some more on that. Inhale deeply through the nose, especially for emotional and mental health, okay? Um, oxidative stress, cellular toxicity, low glutathione, anything skin-related or hair-related, especially hair loss. You can add it to your shampoo or conditioner. For circulation, varicose veins, head and neck tension, and muscle pain. Spanish sage. So I think I've ordered six Spanish sage so far this month. I don't know what the limit is, um, but there will be more. All right. Um, joints, swelling, muscle spasms and cramps, female related discomfort, apply it to the abdomen, anxiousness, stress, nervous exhaustion, fatigue, not feeling content, and anything immunity and respiratory. Emotionally, it helps you feel, <clears throat> go from feeling disrupted to repaired. This is my new best friend. And it goes with my outfit. I did not plan that, but I could lie and say that I did. All right, Spanish sage, Spanish sage, Spanish sage. Say that five times really fast, All right? I want to hear how you are using it. So how I fell in love with it the first time, but I didn't have very much of it because I just had one convention kit. I put it in the diffuser and my friend Polina's, um, she had a Dawn, the big diffuser. And I hadn't been sleeping, suffering from severe hot flashes and whatnot. And I slept great. Um, so now in my diffuser at night, I'm swapping between Spanish sage and Siberian fur. We um, had a video a couple weeks ago where I read about Siberian fur, and I do not read these in advance, okay? I do not prep for these videos. I want them to be authentic. I want to learn as you learn, and um, I just don't have time. Um, so I read that Siberian fur cleanses the air. So Siberian fur has been in my diffuser at night, and I've been sleeping so much better. Um, you will see my videos where I have always used for eight years, nine years, nine years now, breathe or breathe in serenity or serenity or serenity and eucalyptus in my diffuser. It's been that or um, cardamom for a year or two. Uh, it's always been that way. Well, I'm changing things up. So I also want to talk to you about how I'm changing things up in my bedroom so that I stop getting overwhelmed with my oils and all the things that I need to do during this parasite detox and recovery and Pilates muscle recovery and emotional health with post-divorce. It's been just over a year and things hit you differently at a year, right? All these things I'm doing, it can get overwhelming. I am paring down what is most important right now. And I'm going throughout my whole house and putting the absolute necessities where I can reach them. But my bathroom counter as of yesterday was to the point where it was completely covered from one end to the other. And it's a really big bathroom counter with doTERRA. And it got to the point where it was overwhelming me. So I have paired back to what do I absolutely and positively have to have, okay? <gasps> Christy said Spanish sage is great for neurotransmitter deficiency, right? So help me come up with a recipe where I can just spray Spanish sage on me. So how do I want to use Spanish sage? One, you already saw me put it in my hands and rub my hands together and smell. So I inhaled that. So that's going to support those neurotransmitters because it's going to go through the olfactory bulb in my nose to the limbic system in my brain, right? Now because she just said that, and I know I have neurotransmitter deficiency, I'm going to rub it on the back of my neck. I know adaptive is also great for neurotransmitter support, okay, as well as cortisol, um, dopamine, serotonin, etc. okay? So that's how I use the Spanish sage. I put it on topically on the back of my neck. I put it on my hands, inhale it through my nose. It's going in my diffuser. I now want a body spray. 
I could just do it by itself, but it does smell very earthy and somewhat medicinal. So let's jazz that up and come up with a great body spray. Okay. Um, what else? Um, we talked about the benefits of Spanish sage. We talked about my cheer, Douglas fir and wild orange. If you were late, that is a must have diffuser blend, roller blend and body spray. So in a roller, 10 to 20 drops of each topped with fractionate coconut oil. That's in my purse for everywhere I go. It wakes you up. Um, Susan says you can overstimulate your cell receptors from putting too many oils on topically too. I take breaks throughout the day. Um, love that tip. So um, I have different ones. I also put them on different places in my body, right? So a lot of them get put on my wrist, up and down my forearms, rub together and smell. At night, I literally cover myself in magnolia. Hey, Jules, um, I'm coming home. Let's plan a workshop. Um, neroli, magnolia, um, gardenia. I hope you all got the Mother's Day special. I think it's called the Mother's Day special. It's the floral set. It's jasmine, gardenia, and magnolia, I think. I oh. um, I have the other Mother's Day sets as well, so I'm getting confused on which ones are in which, but I think that's it. It's the only way to get gardenia. You gotta have it. It's amazing. Okay, so I cover myself in neroli, rose, magnolia, papaya, helichrysum, and then my new skin repairing oil blend. I'll share that later uh, on another video. Um, and they go all over my body, right? Magnolia, neroli, and Susan uses osmanthus for nighttime. Love that. Um, Yep, jasmine, neroli, and gardenia. Okay, perfect. So I'll probably do a giveaway for the jasmine. I can't use jasmine at this time. We've talked about that on some other videos, right? So if you look up the emotional benefits of jasmine, um, there's a great release um, that comes with jasmine from trauma. And if I use jasmine, my body wants to release that and it comes out in the form of crying. And I don't cry very much at all. And so I don't use that because um, I don't want to cry. Um, Gardenia helps with balancing and maintaining healthy blood pressure. Love it. Okay. Share your comments with us about the benefits of gardenia and how you're using it. Because I don't believe it's in any of our book. Let me look quick. I will see if gardenia is in this book. Nope. Gardenia is not in the book. The only way to get it is the Mother's Day special. So snag that. All right. So how did I simplify next to my bed? This super cool jar that y'all want, if you can still get it, is actually in the doTERRA marketplace. It's not in your regular doTERRA cart. This jar holds a dish soap brush. Well, I didn't need a dish soap brush because I like the one that I have. Um, that I got on Amazon. It actually holds my doTERRA dish soap in the brush. And so I just squeeze it, it squirts out the soap and I use my doTERRA dish soap that way. So I had all these cool jars and they fit three rollers or more and two bottles of oil. So what's in here? I'm gonna cover up the C word on here. So actually I actually have two C words on here. <laughs> the immunity C word that we can't say in any of our videos and the cellular C word that we can't say in any of our videos. So anyway, I won't show you what's in there. I'll tell you. Skin repairing. Um, I'm a redhead, grew up with a swimming pool and minimal sunscreen. So I have a lot of sun damage. So skin repairing blend. I'll share that another day. My immunity for what has been going around for the last three years roller, that is 20 drops Siberian fur, 20 drops lime, topped with fractionated coconut oil. I'll roll that at night a lot of times just for maintenance, right? And then digest then, which has 20 drops digest then, 20 drops Arborvita, 20 drops DDR Prime. Then my bottle of Serenity and my bottle of Siberian Fur that are going in my diffuser separately, not together. And now I want to add um, Spanish Sage. I don't know that it'll fit, but I have room to put it right next to my diffuser, right? So simplify. Put, instead of 
oils that you use over long periods of time, right? Um, I could have breathe in there. I could have cardamom in there. I could have all kinds of other stuff in there. I have it pared down right now to the basic necessities that I use when I get into bed, okay? Because I will roll the bottoms of my feet with digest then or provide a DDR. I might roll the bottoms of my feet with the, you know, what roller for immunity, all right? Because if I'm going out in the sun the next morning, I do not want lime all over my chest. Okay. And then um, same thing with the skin roller. I apply it where there is damage that needs repair. So I put it all over my face, but I also put it on the bottoms of my feet at bedtime. Yes, it's fine to go from face to feet. Um, my feet are clean when I get into bed. Uh, that skin roller, by putting it on the bottoms of my feet, it's also just going throughout my whole body for an additional little boost. Okay. So make sure and simplify so that you do it. We have this period psychologically where if it's too much, we do nothing. Um, and if we don't have them out visibly to be seen, to just grab them, obviously we fall short and do nothing. So find the happy medium. You don't, if, if having all of your doTERRA out where you see it overwhelms you, just make sure you get the current necessities in your visual path. All right, let's see what kind of questions you have. Donna loves the dish brush. Balance and consistency, yeah. Um, I stopped using my thyroid support roller for a week and I could totally tell. I literally felt tightness around my thyroid and neck area. Feel free to share your thyroid support recipe in the comments for us, Susan. All right, let's see. Colleen uses old bath and body candle jars to hold oils all around the house. I used to do that too. I also used mason jars. My friend used to make the painted um, shabby chic mason jars and I had those all over the house. A lot of times candle jars are perfect because they're straight and flat on the bottom. And so um, dig out those old candle jars. Don't burn candles anymore. We know to replace them with the doTERRA wall plugin called the Mist, which is not available right now, but it hopefully will be soon. The bubble diffuser, not available right now, will be soon. And your traditional diffusers, which are available all the time in doTERRA make room sprays, please, please, please do not burn in anything in your house. So I used to be a candle addict and then I sold real estate and then I learned about how toxic it was. Um, real estate came into play because I don't care what candle you have, they're gonna leave soot, all right? And I could tell a chronic candle burner the second I walk in a house because for, I think it was on the joints, on the joists of the ceiling, you could see black soot every however far apart those were, right? Every 18 to 24 inches or whatever it was, right? What the span was. It's damaging to your home. Realtors and homeowners lit houses on fire by lighting candles for showings to make it smell good and then having them explode or be left unattended and a cat would knock it over. Multiple times in my 12 year real estate history, homes were started on fire. Not for me, but other realtors, right? I did give candles. I actually used Scentsy wax burners with my clients. So no fires were started. It's never made sense to me. Once I learned about this and learned from a firefighter, he said to me, I've never understood why people use candles and intentionally light something on fire in their home. He's right. Right now, from the health and wellness world, they're toxic. Don't use your candle waxes. Don't use anything. You can use your essential oils with fractionated coconut oil in your wax burners if you love them. Okay. Remember, check out the comments. Diane says, Your favorite room spray? Question mark. Now it's this one. All right. So, some of my favorite room sprays are. Hold on. Bergamot, cassia, and spearmint. This is my diffuser version. 
bergamot, cassia, spearmint. Equal parts bergamot and spearmint, and then half as much cassia. I also have one with lemongrass cassia on something. I'll go find that. That's an older one, right? So to make a spray, I could do in a doTERRA one ounce sprayer, 20 drops spearmint, 20 drops bergamot, 10 drops cassia, and top it off with water. And then someone recommended witch hazel to prevent mold growth. I go through my sprays, my body sprays and my room sprays so quickly that there is no issue with bacteria or mold growth, but someone um, suggested that I should recommend to you adding witch hazel or I think alcohol, um, like vodka or rubbing alcohol to prevent that growth. Okay, I go through mine so quickly, I don't need to worry about it, okay? But if you do, make sure to add those to prevent that um, stagnant water from growing bacteria or mold. So my favorite room spray, I'm gonna make this today. It's gonna be 50 drops wild orange, 50 drops cheer, and 50 drops Douglas fir in a four ounce sprayer. Now, I post my links to the four ounce sprayers all the time. You want this sprayer. It's a fine mist sprayer. If you don't use a fine mist sprayer, okay, what's gonna happen is giant water droplets are gonna go everywhere and this is my hair grow spray one I have ready to go to um, give to friends and family, right? <clears throat> I need the fine mist so it doesn't hit my scalp and splatter everywhere. I want the fine mist for my room sprays and body sprays. So again, it doesn't hit my body and splatter everywhere. I like to spray my body sprays around my hair after I'm dressed for a spruce up right? Not just on my naked body. If you spray it only on your naked body, you can add fractionated coconut oil and then just rub it in. But most of the time, I'm not doing that. All right, let's see. Witch hazel also acts as the, um, to disperse it when you shake your bottle. Thank you, Deborah. Okay. Um, Christy, you can type in the search bar, um, four ounce and the sprayers probably come up. I'll post a new link as well, or my assistant will, when she recaps the video for you. Hey, Chris, I'm coming home, um, sometime between May 15th and June 15th. Let's set up a workshop and lunch. All right. Thanks, Bev. Bev posted for Gardenia. Um, cause it's not in my book. Gardenia is good for helping improve cognition. It helps with a healthy inflammatory response and weight management. It helps soothe the digestive tract, um, reduces anxious and sad feelings and, um, protects the skin and, um, fights, um, skin issues. Kay says, I have wax melt and would like to incorporate my oils in it if this is possible. Yep, you probably asked that before I answered it a minute ago, um, but I'm going to answer it again just in case. Um, you can put fractionated coconut oil or you can put um, cooking coconut oil, the hardened kind, in and your oils in with it. Um, Christy puts Himalayan salt rocks in her wax melters and puts doTERRA oils on the salt rocks. Love that. Genius. Susan said, I heard doTERRA is going to have a wall plug in soon. So this is the wall plug in. It is not out yet. We only got them at convention. Just like the bubble, they are trying different ones. Um, and we're only allowed to get them through um, in person at convention and leadership. They have the leaders trying them first, right? To work out any bugs and make sure people love them. I do believe this is going to replace the bubble diffuser. I am not sure, but this is also the bubble diffuser. I like both. I prefer this because I never have to charge it and there's no cord. So this will be all over my house, right? But again, remember the beginning of the video, my safety tips for that. All right, let's see. I answered that. Crystal uses clove, juniper berry, and zendocrine on her feet at night to help with detox. Love that, screen shooting that, I need that. 
Um, Zendocrine I use during the day and my love your liver roller. So check that out. If you don't have all the ingredients for love your liver roller, at least make sure that you are rolling Zendocrine 20 drops in um, a 10 milliliter roller with fractionated coconut oil over your liver every morning at minimum. All right, just making sure I answered all the questions here. Don't forget, um, it's still, I think we still have time for free Palmarosa. Yep, it's only the 13th, so get your free Palmarosa. I'm gonna load some graphics and recipes and tips for that today. And also um, Citrus Bloom is on sale for 10% off. And that is in my favorite body spray um, that I just did a reel on last week. Um, adaptive Elevation, if you still have it. If not, replace it with Citrus Bliss. Also includes Citrus Bloom and Whisper. Um, if you do not have the old Whisper that's straight Whisper, you just pop the top off of your existing Whisper roller. It's now in the roller form and dump that in. It does have some coconut oil though. Read the comments, folks. Let's check it out. Looks like I got them all answered. Bev likes to use Spanish sage in a roller to roll over her liver and for respiratory support. Love that. Dina uses Spanish sage and cedarwood. I'm going to do that. Um, I know cedarwood is amazing for the brain as well and for sleep. And I have a lot of it and I only use it so far in my hair grow spray. Oh, I love this idea. Um, this is Susan's recipe. Two drops each of cardamom, lime, lavender, and lemon. It's amazing for large projects. It's her get her done diffuser blend. I love that. All right. Loving all the tips in the comments. Please keep sharing, right? So pare down your necessities next to your bed so you don't get overwhelmed. So you do remember to fill your diffuser. So you do remember to roll a couple rollers no matter what. Make sure you strategically place the items. My assistant helped me with this yesterday because I was getting overwhelmed and I've had some brain issues with the detoxing and the parasites and life. And so um, we went through and redid my bathroom and my kitchen cabinet, moved my supplements um, that I take during the day to my kitchen cabinet. Okay, so think about this when you are figuring out where to put your oils. Okay, the first thing I do when I wake up is I go out to the kitchen and I'm supposed to be putting a pinch of pink Himalayan salt in water and drinking that first, okay? Before coffee, before I do anything else. So I had this giant thing of pink Himalayan salt that I usually throw in my bath, right? So I put some in a small glass jar and it's on the counter in the coffee corner so that everything's right there. So I do that first. I take my pinch of Himalayan salt, put it in my little juice glass that just stays on the counter, little bit of water, which is just right behind me. Um, or I can take some out of my boiling hot pot while it's still at room temperature and pour it in the glass. So it's all right there. So I don't have to go all over the place, okay? I drink that. I then turn on my boiling hot pot and I take my one supplement that I have to take on an empty stomach when I wake up, my parasite killer, okay? I take that. And then I go do some more stuff to get ready. I go in the bathroom. I roll over my liver, um, the love your liver roller. I roll over my back, the adrenal support. So why those two rollers? That's the root issue with menopause and hot flashes and serotonin drops and the mood swings. Okay. So I got to get rid of these hot flashes, right? And what else? And then digest them, DDR and Arborvita in the morning. I roll it on my abdomen because I don't want to walk around with the oils on my feet. Okay. Brush my teeth with doTERRA toothpaste. I use um, either doTERRA mouthwash or my own homemade mouthwash in my recycled doTERRA mouthwash bottle. 
I shower, use my um, was doTERRA shampoo and conditioner. I'm trying inner sense right now. Um, I'm going to try the uh, doTERRA shampoo and conditioner bars as well. Um, I have facial cleanser, facial scrub, reveal system, doTERRA body wash, and then shampoo and conditioner and body scrub all from doTERRA in the shower. I get out of the shower and I put on doTERRA body butter or the citrus bloom lotion or the unscented body lotion. Then I spray my naked body with my after sun recipe just because I love the way it smells or the um, adaptive citrus bloom elevation whisper one or I'm going to make my new one, which is Wild Orange Cheer and Douglas Fir. Remember, if you live somewhere where you're going to get sun, do not do the Cheer and Wild Orange Body Spray where you're going to get sun. And do not use the Adaptive Citrus Bloom Elevation one. Um, there's more oils in it. I'm trying to go fast here and wrap up. I use the After Sun one, which has no citrus oils, um, if I'm going to be in the sun. And what else do I do after that? Hydrating cream goes on next with rose, tea tree, and frankincense added. Probably a lot more here. Um, doTERRA anti-aging under eye cream. It'll, I will use the brightening gel. There's another one. And tightening serum. If I'm not gonna be in the sun, I think the uh, brightening gel, we can't be in the sun. So many doTERRA products you don't even realize you use. I want to hear some of your processes and tips. Like, what's your routine? Let's just say the first part of the morning, meaning what oils do you use? What do you drink? Oh, and then turmeric, peppermint, and cinnamon bark go in my coffee. Grapefruit, lemon, and cinnamon bark go in my water. Um, figuring out your routine is key to your success in doTERRA. You have to create some habits. When we fall off the wagon, we have to get serious and go back and just do the basic habits to help you get started again, right? Oh, and I also take three tears I'm on an empty um, stomach as well, right? Tell us where you put them. Show me pictures of how you store them and where and why. There are so many new people so many new people um, in this group. You're adding dozens every day. We want to help the new people feel more comfortable with it. Deborah says, what time is it? Deborah says, Pettigrain is free in Canada. Yay, Pettigrain is um, man's lavender. So it has a lot of the same effects as lavender. I honestly prefer Pettigrain more. And here is why I did free hand massages um, in nursing homes for like three years. I reached out to Deterra and said, what would be safe to use on any resident? And they said coconut oil and a couple drops of doTERRA lavender. I am sick of the smell of lavender because I put it on hundreds of people for three years. And so, um, if I use lavender, it has to be mixed with other things just because I'm so sick of the smell, right? So I love pedigree and my body responds amazing to pedigree, right? So let's read about pedigree. I have a great um, recipe in the sleep and stress support make and take recipes page on my website, lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. Check that out. If you are a doTERRA business builder and you use my make and takes, I would love to hear what make and take template for the labels you would love. I'm getting ready to launch WWZD, what would Zimmer do? 29, I'll get that prepared um, today or tomorrow and on my website. And I'm gonna give away two free roller templates, sleep and stress support. So you can get my pedigree um, calming recipe on that. And then um, I want to pick another. So go through if you're a doTERRA business builder or just a customer that has my recipe pages, they're on my website. Um, you um, can win something by sharing in the comments, which um, make and takes 
you would love um, label sheets for, okay? And then I will add the uh, winners of that. It's gonna be sleep and stress support. And then I'm gonna make sure that we have another one created and you'll be able to get the templates free in WWZD 29. All right, let's listen about pedigrain. Let's learn about pedigrain, right? Top uses, um, respiratory, abdominal, muscle cramps or spasms, Fearful and anxious thinking. That's why I love it. Um, anger, shock, hysteria, weakened nerves, trouble sleeping, nervousness, anxiousness, excessive sweating, body odor, loneliness, dry, cracked skin, um, acne, dandruff, and oily hair. For anything hair related, add it to shampoo and conditioner or make a spray. Emotional balance for pedigree, it helps you to go from feeling conflicted to harmonized. So pedigree is one of my favorite oils. I don't talk about it enough, all right? It has, most importantly, the calming, sedating, whether it's nerve, emotion, whatever it is, it's very calming and sedating with an uplifting after effect. So you can get pedigree free in Canada. Um, I'm guessing that's the product of the month. And then don't forget, we have Palmarosa free. I'm going to post lots of recipes. I haven't been feeling good the last week, so I did not get my citrus bloom and my Palmarosa tips and recipes posted this week. And I will do that for you today. All right. If you have friends not on Facebook and they won't get on Facebook, send them to my YouTube channel, Lisa Zimmer. If you want to follow me, I've got reels up of recipes and tips on TikTok, Instagram, um, and my business page on Facebook. Uh, Lisa Zimmer Life and Oils on uh, Facebook business page and Instagram. And to be honest, I don't know what my TikTok's called. I don't even, I haven't looked at it lately. My assistant loads that for me. So check me out on TikTok. I'm sure if you just put Lisa Zimmer in there, it'll pop up. And um, share, share, share in the comments. Um, our very first uh, person to show up and comment um, is winning a prize today, and that was Crystal. Crystal, I do not know how to say your last name. M A H A I Nahayowski. All right, I butchered that, I'm sure. She is going to win a free prize. I'm going to give you some choices anti aging eye cream, um, some doTERRA, a couple of doTERRA recipe pages if you would like, et cetera. So I'll reach out to you privately. Now I want to hear from the rest of you in the comments um, what Zimmer Make and Take Recipe other page you would like to see free in WWZD 29. It's going to be sleep and stress support and, because that's a huge topic right now and um, one other. So share in the comments what you would like to see. And remember, go check out my WWZD um, courses. There are 28 of them already finished. You can look in the descriptions, um, or if you're in any of the WWCDs for the last couple of years, at the very top in the pinned post, I show you what is free in each group. So you can go through and see what recipe pages um, you've already gotten free through them, and then let me know which ones um, for this next round. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. We covered a lot today. Share your tips. That's how you win free stuff. Okay, refer your friends. That's how you get free stuff. I talked about it last week for refer a friend. We'll post more about that. We all get free um, refer a friend links through doTERRA now. And so you can refer your friends and get free money. You can either get cash if you're a doTERRA wellness advocate, doTERRA sends you cash, or if you're a wholesale customer and you want cash in your doTERRA account to spend on whatever you want, um, you get to earn free money now too for telling your friends about doTERRA and giving them your link. It's that easy. Refer a friend. Let's get everyone using these oils and to stop using toxic products that damage their health. Love it. Happy oiling. Bye.